Okay, so let's try um, to do these more complex molecules like dimethyl ether here. So when you see these types of molecules, they'll be written in such a way that um, describes the way that they're bonded, okay? So here you can see that these three hydrogens are around this carbon as a central atom. And then that carbon is bonded to this oxygen, which is bonded to this carbon, and these three hydrogens are on that carbon. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so let's draw the bluish structure. So we're going to draw, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with these smaller molecules. So we're going to draw the bluish structure of the atom, combine those things, figure out the electronic and molecular structure of everything, okay? So, the central atom, again, it shows you what the central atom is. It's oxygen, the very central one. And then next to that, we have a carbon here and a carbon here. Do you guys see that from the molecular formula? And then around those carbons, we have three hydrogens. So I think that's probably going to be the most confusing step for you guys without um, having seen these big molecules before, okay? It's to actually see where they line up and um, are actually connected to each other. So hopefully you can take this and make something like this, okay? So now let's put our electrons around each of those um, atoms, the Lewis structures. So carbon, four, right? Oxygen, six. Like that. Okay. So notice there's no charge on this, so we don't have to worry about putting the charge anywhere. So now we just have to connect these things, right, with our fish hook arrows. So let's go ahead and do that. So when you do this, hopefully you can notice or see that we um, suffice everybody's um, valence shells with just giving them all single bonds, okay? You guys see that? Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this structure out. Now I'm on a small board, so what I'm gonna do is erase this and just draw the Lewis structure. Is that okay for everybody? I'll let you guys write this down first. Does everybody have this written down? At least to a point that I can erase, okay. So now I want you guys to draw the Lewis structure on your own and see if your Lewis structure matches my Lewis structure, okay? So hopefully it looks something like that. You drew something differently, then you've done it incorrectly, okay? And try to amend your thinking to make a drawing like this. Okay, is this the actual structure of the molecule? Can I ask you guys? Tell me. No. no. No, right? How do we know that? Well, this, we know that the electron groups, right, give the geometry to those central atoms. And in fact, when we look here, we have one, two, three different central atoms. Does everybody understand that? Okay. So each one of those has atoms on its periphery, so we call it a central atom. Okay. So anyways, what we should now be able to identify is the electronic and molecular structures around these two central atoms, or three central atoms. Okay. So I'm going to label these if I can find a Well, yeah, I'll label this carbon green star and the other carbon uh, orange star carbon. 
Okay, so we've got oxygen, carbon, carbon. Okay, so the first thing I want to know is uh, the number of uh, electron groups around each of these. Okay, so help me out. How many electron groups does that green star carbon have around it? Is that right? Four? Okay. Why do you say four? Because there's one, two, three, four bonds around that carbon. Does everybody agree with that? Okay, so there's four electron groups. What about this oxygen here? How many electron groups does it have around it? Four as well, right? Two of them being bonds and two of them being the lone pairs. Is everybody okay with that? And what about the orange star carbon? Four as well, four bonds. So that should give us um, an idea or tell us what the electronic structure of these things is, right? So the electronic structure of these is going to be what? What's the electronic structure around that central oxygen? Tetrahedral. Why? Because it's got four. What about the green carbon? Tetrahedral as well. And what about the orange one? Tetrahedral. Okay. And what about the molecular structure? Okay, so let's do molecular now. Sorry, I don't have enough room on the other side. So the molecular structure around the orange carbon is going to be what? How do we figure that out? Tetrahedral, but why? Because there's four atoms around that central atom, right? Okay, so the molecular structure, everybody, is going to be what? Tetrahedral, right? Why? Four atoms, right? What about the green part? Tetrahedral as well. And the oxygen, what is that going to be? Bent. Why? Because it's got two lone pairs and two atoms, right? Okay? So if it only had two atoms, what would it be? No, linear, right? Okay, so if it has no lone pairs, then it would be linear. But since it's got those two lone pairs, it's going to be bent. Okay, and then lastly, I know I'm moving in, I'm encroaching on this thing, but what would be the bond angle for the tetrahedral ones? For the tetrahedral molecular range one? 109 and a half. And what about the bent one? What do we say? 104.5. Okay, so is everybody okay with all that? So now we want to draw this to look something like that, okay? So I'm going to erase this and then redraw it. Is everybody okay with that? So remember, bonds that are straight lines are in the plane, okay? So again, with lone pairs, it's tough to show them out of the plane. So oftentimes, you will just assume they are out of the plane and not show them, okay, when it's difficult to draw the whole molecule. And in this case, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because around the central oxygen, it's going to be really difficult to show those lone pairs out of the plane, okay? So I'm going to draw the central oxygen, remember, as bent. And I'm going to put the lone pairs here and here, okay? These are implied to be being pointed forward and pointed back in a tetrahedral arrangement, okay? Then I'm going to show my carbon there and my carbon there. Both, all three of these atoms in the same plane. Does everybody understand? I'm going to draw hydrogen there, hydrogen there. So all five of these atoms are in the same plane, okay? 
here I have a hydrogen going forward and a hydrogen going back like that. Here I have a hydrogen going forward and a hydrogen going back like that. So if I wanted to, I could show the bond angle, 104.5 degrees. And like I was saying, it's very difficult to show this, but if I was, if somebody was insisting on me and in showing the angle of those uh, electrons, I could put a wedge out and a hatched out like that, okay? But it looks ugly, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay? And then the bond angle here is gonna be what? Yeah, very good. And what about here? Yep, 109.5. All of them will be 109.5 around, right? And here? Is everybody okay with this? So dimethyl ether is what this is. And again, you know, the structure was given to us like this, and it shows us how to put it in order, okay? Because if it was given to us like uh, C2H6O, we could put that together in a couple of different ways. So we wouldn't really know what the, what the um, actual structural arrangement of the atoms is. Okay? Are there any questions? Oh, uh, I think we've done everything we can on this one. Are there any questions about that?